Well, let's turn now to CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook for more on the president's diagnosis. So, John, we heard the president's got these mild symptoms, but he is 79 years old. How much of a concern is that? Well, of course there's concern, but he should have significant protection from serious illness by the fact that he's double boosted. And in fact, that's what we're seeing right now with these cold symptoms that are very mild. And on top of that, he's getting Paxlovid, which should further reduce his risk by lowering the amount of virus in his system. Now, compare this with two years ago, Nora. What a difference two years makes now that we have antivirals and these vaccines. I do want to ask you about that drug, the Paxlovid, because um, there have been these rebound cases. Even Dr. Fauci had a rebound Indeed. case. So how will this impact the president's recovery? We are seeing in a relatively small percentage of people, we don't know exactly how many, probably less than 10 percent, this rebound two to eight days after somebody finishes a course of Paxlovid, they can test positive again and get symptoms. The symptoms are generally mild, lasting three to six days. Now, the president is certainly taking some cardiac medications, including a blood thinner uh, because of his chronic atrial fibrillation. And the doctor decided to hold the blood thinner right now to just while he's taking the Paxlovid because Paxlovid can increase the level of the blood thinner. I'm sure there was a lot of discussion about the risk benefit of that and that he's going to be followed very closely in the days to come. Lots of good information. Dr. John LaPook, thank you so much.